What's the first thought that comes to mind about Australia? That apparently we don't exist, and are all actors. Yeah, well, like we are supposed to believe that there is an island that is a continent that is flat except for one big rock in the middle and all the animals there don't exist anywhere else in the world and they all start with K and everyone there just happens to speak English. Sewer, right. Flat, right. What goes on down under? I'm told that women blow and men chunder. You better run, you better take cover from those dang blowing women, they call ACDC a car daca. I listen to a daca when I eat at Macca's. Me and Robbo do too. In the Monaro on our way to the servo to get durries on Smogo. How like nobody lives in the middle. I had to scroll way down to find an answer that approximates mine. The first thing that pops into my head when I think of Australia is a great, expansive, desert. There's so many maps that make it clear that the vast majority of the country is completely unoccupied, and why. I've lived on the east coast of Australia my entire life and I am definitely not one to venture too far into the middle but a few years ago I made the mistake of going to far north QLD and then going further to its center. It is oppressively hot, silent, full of flies and fucking boring. It has a weird sort of beauty and serenity to it but after a while it just begins to feel bleak. And really, really hot. Spiders. Spoiders. Spoider mate. Lying in bed at 10 pm, I just want to sleep but I can hear a fucking mosquito buzzing around my room and any time I turn the light on it disappears. It will either try to take my blood and become a smear on my cheek, or I will not be sleeping tonight. Put a fan blowing across you. They follow your breath trail down, if that isn't there they have trouble. That's solid advice. Happy cake day. She'll be right every last word of a true Aussie. I moved to Australia in my late teens and my first job was at a gas station. For a very long time this phrase confused the living hell out of me. Every time someone would say she'll be right in response to me asking them if they need a receipt. I would look at their car outside and wonder there is no one sitting in the car. Who is that she they are referring to? P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way Sydney. That's weird, it's spelled just like escape. Escape? For me it is the music. When they came out, Men at Work was my favorite band. In excess soon after. Crowded House, New Zealand and Australia members I know. I know, is still an all-timer for me. Midnight Oil was also a favorite of mine. My neighbor screaming fuck you, you're a dog cunt to whoever she's brought over every night. Love Queensland, clearly she's into dog cunt if she keeps bringing more of them back every night. Cunt. Yeah right cunt, mate. Shit I love being an Aussie. Kangaroo fam out the front of my house right now. Emus frequently and the occasional dingo. Also our little buddy Eric the sleepy lizard who uses our backyard to chill over summer. He drinks the dog's water and the kids feed him fruit. 50 degree summers can fuck off though. Also free healthcare are no mass shootings is nice. Edited to add regarding my comment on free healthcare. Not everything is free but almost everything for me and my family has been free. I've birthed three babies in the public system and not paid a cent. Free general dental and just about everything else for the kids. One of my kids needs specialist equipment made custom to his body. Free. Pats reimburse a chunk of our travel needs for appointments because of our remote location. Week-long stay in the burn ward of the WCH for one of my kids also free, plus they fed me and accommodated me for free. Free appointments at the GP. I think we're well off in comparison to many other healthcare systems elsewhere. Not totally free we still pay the Medicare levy of 2.5% but much rather that than what a lot of others have. Yeah when my old got cancer and we paid nothing to get her healthy and cancer free, 2.5% isn't bad. In 1967, Prime Minister Harold Holt went for a swim in the ocean and, accidentally drowned https colon slash slash n dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash disappearance underscore of underscore Harold underscore Holt. His body was never recovered. He just straight up disappeared. 
In his honor, two years later the local council, named a swimming pool after him https colon slash slash n dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash harold underscore hold underscore memorial underscore swimming underscore center, and another pool was named after him in, Australian military base in Vietnam https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash 20171107024546 slash https colon slash slash www.orm.go.au slash collection ekn slash 68 slash 0057 slash vn slash that's about the most australian thing i can think of and when a mate goes missing on a night out or something you say they did a harold holt beer then again i am australian just reminded me of any VB at ever VB, Victorian bitter cup to freezing cold beer being cracked open koo oik. Now I want a cup brew and I'm in the middle of Turkey. That Clive Palmer is a fatty McFuck head. What a dense Humpty Dumpty. Magpies. When I was a kid, it was koalas or roos. As a teen, it would have been snakes or spiders. But as an adult, magpies. Those are some territorial little suicide swooping bastards. The first rule in safety is look up. Not in fucking Australia. Do not look up if you're getting swooped. You could seriously lose a nostril or an eye. Any Aussies care to back me up on this, also. Just run. Magpies are protected and hurting one can land you in trouble with the cops. I am an Aussie. And I had on magpie that had a burning hatred for me and used to wait for me every morning on the clothes line so it could swoop me all the way to school. That's why you need to occasionally bribe them with mints. I feed my local ones about once a month and now they bring the babies to meet me. One did start to swoop me last week, saw my face and landed in front of me. He sang to me, I assume his apology. As an Australian, I'm thoroughly enjoying these responses. Hot Christmases. Americans and Europeans really need to try it sometime. I'm in Northern Canada and have a few friends in Oz. We always have a laugh over her kids in shorts slash tanks in 25 degrees Celsius and mine in snowsuits in minus 25 degrees Celsius. Only 25 degrees Celsius? Must not be from Queensland. British Texans, aka, Queensland, better yet, Texas, Queensland, 4385. Emu War. Honestly man, I've never seen an emu that wanted to 1v1 me or anyone actually. They can only fight in packs, weak mongrels. Let's send text messages around and meet at a local beach to fight them. That is as maybe but just be careful or they might call their cassowary cousins. Those bastards will happily mess your shit up. Saw Trady down at Woolies yesterday Arvo with no shirt on and he was getting drilled into by a security guard for having no shirt on, then some random bloke just comes up and gives him a shirt like here you go mate and I guess that's pretty true blue. But how did you know it was a Trady if he wasn't wearing a high vis shirt? Edit, oh my god my first silver. Thank you kind stranger. His stubbies were covered in paint and he had his blunt stones on. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Not to mention psychedelic porn crumpets. Goon of Fortune. I hope I never play that game again. Passed out on the lawn in the sun. Waking up crook as a dog every time. I'll probably still do it again someday. The first half hour is fun. Kangaroos. For non Aussies, think of them like deer. They're big and annoying and will fuck up your car if you hit one. I've seen some videos of them walking up to people and they look hella scary fuck that. Smoko. I'm on Smoko, so leave me alone. Velp there goes the rest of my month to singing that and pub feed more than backslash underscore less than. A cock in a frock on a rock. Now listen here, you mullet. Why don't you just light your tampon and blow your box apart? Because it's the only bang you're ever gonna get, sweetheart. Rediscovering it after 40 years away, we moved to Canada when I was a kid. The incredible accent where every vowel has at least three different sounds. 
The way that Aussies have a diminutive for absolutely everything really is, mozzies, brickies. The lively informality of the Aussies, so much more outgoing than Canadians. Walking through a shopping centre after the stores are closed, shockingly early if you come from Toronto, seeing one that appears open. They let you in. It's actually their staff party. I'm just a random person from Canada who is twice their age but they hand me a beer and invite me to join them. Coming across a memorial service for the Christchurch victims in downtown Melbourne in front of the Victoria State Library. I see the most multicultural assembly imaginable outside Toronto. Message rallies about the speeches and they message me about which politicians are absolute dirts. Listen to a Muslim prayer outside the library where my mother had her first job in the 1950s. Marvel at the changes since her day, Steve Irwin, God, I miss him. I loved watching his show on Animal Planet when I was a kid. His kids are carrying on his legacy. They're pretty badass and incredible themselves. I'm Australian and I will never forget how tens of thousands of people petitioned to change our currency to the dollar redo. My question is can I join it still? That's not a knife. This is a knife. I see you've played knifey spoony before. $900 redos, 